Hello, it's Mark Matosh here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be using the hair tool to put hair on a character. Now, there'll be two parts to this video, and the first thing you can do for me is to hit the like button. So let's start off by creating our hair. So I'm going to select the character, tab to go into edit mode. I'm just going to go into side view and Z wireframe. And what we want to do is select our hair, where our hair is going to be. So I'm just going to grab all this and select all that. So we've got our vertices selected that we want to be hair. I'm going to come up into the vertex group. Let's create a new vertex group and we will call this one hair. And then we'll make sure you hit that assign button. And then from here, I'm going to kind of do a little bit fancy where it's going to be longer on the top and shorter on the sides. From here, I'm going to press C and deselect some of these hairs. So all these, let's deselect that new vertex group. And we will call this one top hair assign. Now what I can do is come back into hair and go select, come into the top hair and select deselect. And then we can come in and create a new vertex group going side hair. And then we'll make sure you hit that assign button. So first off, let's go with the top hair. I'm just going to deselect everything and go select. Let's come into our particles, new particle system, hair. Let's press Z to go in solid mode, tab to go in solid mode. From here, I want the hair length to maybe be 0.75. Oh, sorry. 0.075. Now that's even a little bit long. So let's go 0.05. Beautiful. So it's about five centimeters long. Let's come down into vertex group and density. We're going to select top hair. There we go. So now we've got it all sitting on the top. I'm going to press N to bring in the side panel and I've already got the hair tool installed, but if you need to install it, go edit preferences, add ons, install the add on, double click on the zip file and then just enable it. So from here, I'm going to go object mode and go particle edit. And now this is where we can start kind of grooming the hair uh, just increase the strength. And I'm just going to quickly do this. And there we go. I've kind of got the hair painted from here. I do want to puff it up a little bit. So I'm going to click puff on the left hand side and just puff them up a bit just so they're not directly stuck on the head. From here, I'm going to go create settings and interactive grooming. And then we can see our hair particles, how they look. Mm, they don't look exactly like I want. I kind of want to brush back a little bit. Let's just do it like that. And then a little bit more puffing. Cool bananas. Let's make sure they're aligned correctly. So I'm going to go tilt alignment. There we go. That's looking much better. Um, I think I've got a, the right number of curves on there. So I'm just going to leave it as is. I mean, I could generate more child, but I think that's fine. Let's just go into object mode and we can see what we're looking at. So to me, that looks fine. However, from the behind, it looks a little bit ugly, but we will deal with that a little bit later. Once we're happy with the mesh, we select the mess mesh control shift H to bring up this radial menu menu. And we're going to go curve ribbons to mesh ribbons. And there we go. So now that top hair, is now its own mesh. I can double click here on the top left. I'm just going to call this top mesh. Probably top hair would have been better. Let's select the body again. I'm going to delete the edit. That's fine. Come back into the vertex group and we're going to do side hair. There we go. I don't think um, five centimeters is, I think five centimeters is a little bit too long. I'm going to go down to maybe 0.01. So I've only got about one centimeter thickness from here back into particle edit. And then let's just kind of redo some grooming kind of flowing what hair would look like. All right, let's just do this quickly. La -di da. There we go. So that's looking nice. Let's go back into interactive grooming. And we can see that it's looking rather funky. So let's go tilt alignment. Let's just double click on that one. That's looking horrendous. Let's have a look, select our body, go back into particle edit. And then we can actually give it some length. So come back onto interactive grooming. Can we give it a little bit more length? And you can kind of see that we're growing all those hairs a bit more. I think we might've grown it a little bit too much. So I'm just going to kind of go a little bit more closer to the head. And I mean, you can see that it looks really patchy and not the best. All right, and we will come back in and kind of fix that up. And here we can probably generate children. At the moment, our child count is 100, but we want to include the parents over here. And so that's increased all that. Maybe let's add in an extra 500. 
And so that's not too bad. It's still fairly yuck, fairly patchy, but we will do with that. We can see some strays down here, which we'll get rid of in edit mode. So for now, I'm gonna go back into object mode. Let's select this hair, which just looks crazy all the way up here. So let's just maybe fix that up quickly. Particle edit. And I just wanna brush these back. I mean, obviously we can increase the size of the strand, maybe to one. And we can see that's a lot thicker, but it still looks like <laughs> it's rubbish. Like rough as gas. So I'm just gonna go into object mode and we've got some strays here. Maybe if we go back into particle weight, reset tilt, align tilt, turn on interactive grooming. We've got to get, do that again. So it's looking somewhat better, but still, you know, just something seems to be missing. I think that there looks bad. This here looks bad. And obviously you can see how much I'm tweaking it just to try and get that look. Um, I think maybe the strand width is too big, maybe 0.75, a little bit smaller, but we've got more gaps. So now we move into the second part. From here, I'm gonna have the body selected. Let's come over into the materials. I'm gonna select head. And from here, we're gonna come down into texture. I'm gonna add in the brush. Let's open our hair image, which is if I just come into texture paint, come down and select hair, just so I can show you what it looks like. This is what our hair texture looks like. This file is available on Gumroad. There is a link in the description. This one is for free. Let's just go back into the body. There we go. Sorry, this needs to be the head. And so from here, what I want to do is paint my hair texture onto the actual base of the head. And what that will do is it'll kind of fill in those gaps. So from here up the top, we go texture, we change tiled to stencil. And now we've got our hair texture here. I can right click and move it around. I can control right click to rotate and I can shift right click and scale. So let's kind of put that where it needs to go. And then I'm just gonna start drawing or stenciling, however you wanna say it. And you can see that I've only done just this little bit. Just going back into layout and we can already see the bits that I've already done. You know, from this angle, it looks not too bad. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly go do the whole head. So let's texture paint. And if you really wanted to, you can come over on here on this side and paint it on. But I'm just going to do it through here. And so we can see those all those little gaps. I'm just trying to fill in. What I might actually do is come into back into layout. Let's maybe select that hide and hide. And then we can see all the parts that we're missing back onto here. And then let's just quickly fill in all those holes. All right, so we've done a lot of the hair except the front here because I want to put a little bit extra work in that one. I'm going to do Alt H so we can unhide back into texture paint and then we'll try and do this as nice as possible. So something like that. I just want to keep the border. There we go. And now if we come back into our layout, hide, hide, and there we go. So now we can see where we need to paint finish this off there we go so that's looking pretty good let's go back into layout now alt h nice and now if we kind of like look at from this angle we've got no white blotches underneath um, let's go into tab into edit mode i haven't converted this one yet so i'm going to do Control shift h curve to ribbon mesh and we'll call this side mesh and then we can get rid of that particle si uh, simulation and then from here we can come in and start i'm just going to start deleting hairs especially the ones that just what are you doing <laughs> all right uh don't like you don't like you 
Nope, this one and this one. Control L, delete vertices. That one, that one, that one, that one. Control L, delete vertices. And there we have it. Now we've created some hair. I think actually technically it probably should come a little bit down here as well because he doesn't really have um, much of a sideburn. So maybe what I might do is just go Control L, side view, Control L, Shift D. I'm just gonna, maybe something like that. I think maybe this section here, what I'm gonna do is go C, I'm just gonna select whatever's in there, turn on proportional editing and anything that's connected. I'm just gonna go G, and we'll just move that back. Let's go into Eevee, what do you look like? We can see that line, hairline there, but from here you can't really see it. You can see the kind of the layers of these textures, so a little bit more work and maybe a little bit of randomness. That would have fixed that problem. Um, if you wanted to be ever so pedantic, which I probably will be moving forward on the greater models. Ah, I'm just gonna zoom in. I've still got proportional editing turned on. It's something like that. And then kind of just align it up and back a little bit because I kind of want that, those hairs here especially kind of growing off that hairline texture that we've put in. So there we have it. That's one way of creating hair with a hair tool add-on. Uh, don't forget if you want the hair texture, the link is in the description. Please help me out. Uh, if you want to pick up this add-on, there is a link in the description as well. Please make sure you help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Give me a like, leave a comment down below just to bump up those YouTube algorithms. And if there's anything else you want to know, please let me know.